set the pivot off. Neighbors raking hay over there. Uh, let's see, how do I stop it? Uh, I guess that's it. Now we go shut the motor off. spraying some fungicide on these beans today. Have you seen anything coming out? Maybe that side's better. So this matches up pretty good with his planter. He's got a 12 row 30 planter and 90 foot boom matches up pretty good. So we take three planter passes so we're always driving in, in, in his tracks. And uh, this is approach. It's a fungicide. They've got some white mold issues in this field always, so we're trying to prevent that. We just got done moving the pivot over there. It was jacked way over here like this. But we've got everything on that side done. Over there, and we are working our way this way. We just shut that pivot off not that long ago. 146 acres of beans here. There's a couple corners that aren't farmed. I can see down here in the lower left. It's hard to do that stuff one-handed. But we got one more fill left to do. One more batch to mix up. It's really easy. It's a jug of this stuff and fill it up the rest of the way with water. So I can show you how I got my uh, nurse tank set up over there. I don't know if I ever showed you that. Maybe I did, I don't remember. Sixteen. Sometimes he plants pretty good on the ends, and sometimes he plants too close together so it's easy to count. things we hook up the hose. I hope I got close enough. Okay. Got both valves on. We come over and we open up the supply to the pump. Then we give it this little choke, turn it on. There it is, approach.
water plumbed up here for this. Normally I got the jug over the, the hole there. We just rinse it out right away when we're... So I think I'll do that because it's a pain in the butt. We'll get my other glove and we'll get this rinsed out good. Alright, we got that jug rinsed out. Now we're going to turn on the cone. Like I said, we're going to shut that one, open this one, and watch the level go down. cleans the cone out too. right up here to this Hudson valve and the level gets up here and it shuts it off and then on. This is about the highest flow valve I could find that would fit in this lid decent. Come on. And I got it off and I can't get it on. There we go. I just got it screwed in there with a bolt. So, that's how that works. We can go shut that off because I think we're about done with the water. We don't need to haul a whole load of water out of here. Anyway, that's how we do it. That's how it works good. <laughs> 